ओके वेलकम 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 थ्री वेलकम बिकॉज दिस इज द थर्ड एपिसोड ऑफ गैजेट्स यू हैव बीन आस्किंग फॉर वेर वी कवर गैजेट्स that you guys are searching for but no big youtuber is reviewing them and in our previous video and community page you guys suggested some cool really good gadgets we bought all of them tested them well some of them took like 20 days to arrive and we'll tell you whether you should buy them or not let's go so first up is the most upvoted gadget one audio weird headphones oh sorry wired headphones my mistake or was it well this is the pro 10h version and it cost 299 it comes in this carrying pouch inside you get the headphones aha uh -huh, obviously you also get this 3.5 mm to 3.5 mm adapter it also comes with a microphone and surprise surprise you can completely remove the wire from the headphones and use it wirelessly not wirelessly wireless okay This is handy if you want to carry the headphones in your bag. Now you have two jacks on the headphone. This one is 6.5 mm in case you don't know. It is for connecting to a guitar or other musical instrument. Ooh. Wait, let me try this out. Now let's see if I can connect a second headphone to this one. So we put this guitar 6.5 mm here to this Sony XM4s and now we connect this 3.5 mm jack to my laptop. And now let me play the song. See? Headphone one, the sound is playing. Same. Headphone two, the sound is playing. And this is called SharePort technology. So basically, if you are editing something or if you are watching a movie, let's just say with one of your friends, so both of you can use different headphones at the same time and have the same audio. Quite handy. Well. This one audio pro 10h is not a replacement for higher price headphones but if you're a person who has only listened to budget headphones then you're definitely going to love this coming to the headphones well the build quality i would say is just okay for the price like i have seen better build quality also the ear cups are quite large so it goes around your ears and it should fit most of the ear size now coming to the audio quality i would say that these headphones are quite loud the sound quality is quite balanced like the highs and mids bass is really good so you will enjoy the bollywood songs the instrument separation is decent they are a bit bass heavy so if you're watching movies and videos the voice clarity is not that good but overall i would give it a rating of 6 out of 10 points deducted only due to below average build quality recommended totally for sound you guys asked us for a car charger and look what we found this is a 150 watt car charger now it looks like a normal water bottle and if you put besides a normal water bottle is just half of it and you can easily put in one of the cup holders of your car and this is the connector you put it in your car's charging port and this connects over here now it has a fan at the bottom and it's loud <laughs> and on the top you get two usb a ports a power on power off switch if you have this kind of car freshener you can put it in here it's an extra slot and this is the magic power outlet so you can put it here on the cup holder it kind of obstructs in this car but like the wiring could have been better but i think it's a small car so now see here for example we have the OnePlus 10T it charges at 150 watt now if you charge your phone through the normal car's usb port like this is the device which tells you the exact watt at which your phone is charging and if you see it's 2 and a half watt 2 and a half watt like what Two and a half watt. That would take like five hours to charge the phone hundred percent. Now with this mobile charger, if you use the USB port, it charges somewhere around nine watt, ten watt. But the best part is you can directly put the one plus one fifty watt charger in this, and now you see. Oh, it goes up sixty, sixty six. So basically, it can charge your one plus at one fifty watt and. 20 minutes your phone is 100% charged now you can also charge laptops macbook we tested all of them camera batteries anything that comes with an adapter now the maximum output of the charger is 150 watt our car only outputs 120 watt but it's there in case you need it also a really helpful thing is it has auto power shut off so if your car's battery is low this shuts off automatically now the charger costs only 2399 but the features are really really good so as per the usability if you have a car this is a must have so 9 out of 10 super recommended now this is a big one smartphone cases and especially d brand grip cases 
you don't get this in india it is really hype you guys asked for it and we delivered and if you want us to keep what we are doing subscribe to our channel and like the video it comes in this black stylish box now this is a case for iphone 13 and Whoa, the feel of it is pretty grippy. Like the back is smooth, but the sides has this rubbery textured feel to it. So it feels grippy, but still I don't recommend it. Two reasons. Number one, see here, I'll tell you the cost on paper. Like we had to pay $45 for the case, which is like 3,600 rupees. And you had to pay $10 for shipping, which is another thousand rupees. So now the case itself costs like somewhere around 4,500. But that's not it. You also have to again pay additional thousand rupees for custom duties because I don't know so overall it costs like a whooping 5,500 to 6,000 rupees you get an entry-level Android phone in 6,000 rupees 6,000 for a smartphone case number two it is an iPhone case and it covers the logo. Dude, why do people with iPhones take mirror selfie, right? To show the logo. iPhones are classy. Oh, but is it more classy than the newly launched Flip 4? Check out that video over here. If you ask me, not recommended. Too expensive in India. There are much similar alternatives like this Rinke case for S21. This costs around 1500 rupees quite good and tough. Now, just like Dbrand case, you guys also asked for robotic vacuum cleaner. It costs whooping 20,000 rupees, so... 10,000 lives and we do it in the next series. Okay, so quite a few of you have been asking for Type-C earphones because... Headphone jack these days is not a flagship feature. Six years and it still hurts. But now on Amazon, you can see there are a lot of cheap Type-C earphones and I wouldn't recommend any of them. Because see here, we bought this V-Cool Type-C earphones for 500 rupees. And now, if I plug it into Samsung phone, the sound is still coming through the speaker the earphones doesn't work. And now let me try it on a Pixel phone. See, the audio is playing through the speaker and I plug in the earphones. It's still playing through the speaker. The earphones don't work. The only phones where it worked was OnePlus and Nothing phone, but why? Well, there is a big reason behind that. See, there is something called a DAC. So now you see, this is a music file on my smartphone. This is digital. And the audio that comes into earphones is analog. So DAC basically converts this digital file to analog signals. Digital analog converter, DAC. In simple words, digital is 101010, analog is sound. Now some phone manufacturers like OnePlus, nothing, give the DAC in the phone itself. So any Type-C earphones you plug in should work. But most phones like Samsung, Pixel, all, they don't give DAC. So you would be like, Pratik, what should I do? Well, buy Type-C earphones with DAC. If you search on Amazon, you will find DAC in the title itself. Or if you buy offline, just use them and check. So we bought this Samsung Type-C earphones. It costs about 600, 700 rupees and they work with all the Type-C phones. Type-C earphones these days are pretty rare in the market because the company which manufactures the phone also manufactures a TWS. So there's no profit in selling a Type-C earphone. Anyways, Samsung Type-C earphones, 7 out of 10, recommend it. And you guys have been asking us to review keyboards. So this time, this is mechanical keyboard. This is Cosmic Byte CBGK13. Wired mechanical keyboard. It costs around 2,500. And you get this big white box. And inside, you get this keyboard. Now, the build quality of the keyboard is pretty sturdy. Like, see here, there is minimal to no flex at all. Also, you get this cool RGB lighting system. And if you press these two buttons, you can cycle between the various lighting options. Oh, this one is cool. The light glows when I press the button. Damn, this is nice. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of RGB lighting, but you gamers out there, you will really like it. I know our editor Stan will really like this, so I know one gamer. Also, this is a mechanical keyboard. So see here, you get a keycap puller and all the keycaps can be taken out. And this is very handy for cleaning the keyboard. Also, I remove so many keys, where do I put them back? <laughs> what if your friend has a mechanical keyboard and you replace F with L? And he keeps on typing luck and he wonders why it is getting beeped out. <laughs> and these are brown switch keyboard, meaning they don't create that much noise while typing compared to the blue switches. But what does that mean for typing? Will it increase my speed? Well, let's put it to the test. So this is my daily driving laptop. I write all my scripts on it. So let's begin with my laptop first. Oh, I scored like 43. Is that a good score? No, that's basic. Achha. Okay. <laughs> it looks like more work has to be done. Now we'll go with the mechanical keyboard and see 
if it does the same magic now one thing is i can instantly realize that i'm pressing a key like the key travel is really deep so when you press a key you know that you have pressed the key i scored like 39 on this but i think the reason is because i use my laptop daily so i'm used to this keyboard i don't think it increases the typing speed but i love the keyboard so i would say if you are into typing task a lot or if you're a gamer or if you make entries on excel you should give this a try it is a full size keyboard so 9 out of 10 recommended i really liked it now next up is a very interesting product like there were number like i couldn't count so many comments on iems 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 so this here is blon bl03 it cost 2399 inr and these are iems in ear monitor now what is iem see iems are different from normal earphones these earphones sit on your ear and iems directly go inside the ear in your ear canal in the box you get the earphones some extra ear tips and this cute little eco friendly bag to carry it with you also you get this case now iems are usually detachable so you attach the wire separately now the earphones are glossy in nature and they seem to be very sturdy now the cables are not straight they are tangled in this manner it should be tangle free now this earphone is basically meant for serious music lovers first of all these are loud like two times louder than normal earphones and i love the bass like normal earphones have that bass this has like really clean good bass the audio separation is really good but the music is a bit sharp it hurts sometime in the ear also if you listen to rock music like bhag dk bose from delhi belly those songs or i hate love stories from i hate love stories if you listen to rock music those songs struggle on this earphones if you listen to rock music there are better options don't buy these but rest it is really good so for the price of 2399 i would recommend them 7 out of 10 so that was the video i hope you enjoyed it If you like the video well you know what to do subscribe to the channel leave a comment on which product you want us to try in the next series till then this is Pradeep signing off see you in the next video pew pew pew